I've always said that about water. It's just the one resource that we take so for granted. And I think every morning when I get up, thank God, I can just go to my box and turn it on and it's there. What happened in your garage? What do you mean, what happened? There's a screwdriver out of place. <laughs> We've got the big feeder. We have hundreds of birds come in the feeder. And then they come over here and they got to wash off. <laughs> the there you go, wash <laughs> off. <laughs> So this is a very exciting day. We're in Ed Ballou, my top lieutenant out here, 25 years we've been working together, your old neighborhood. Uh, it is, my old neighborhood. And this was part of your vision, which yep. was the Green Community Makeover. Of 2009. Did a presentation to the Homeowners Association here and to all of our neighbors, and we wanted to make an impact. See these retention ponds and all this stuff? Yes. Everybody's concerned about water quality there. So I said, well, it doesn't start there. It starts in people's backyards. If we can control the, the runoff. The decentralized solution. Decentralized solution. You got yeah, it. Yeah, I've been so. paying attention to this guy. <laughs> so this is Ed's old neighborhood, Sugar Grove, Illinois. We did how many total water features? We did 37 projects. That included rain barrels, rain gardens, permeable pavement, pondless waterfalls, uh, ecosystem ponds, you name it, we did it. And here's a pondless <laughs> waterfall that I have not seen probably in five years. Yep. And it looks spectacular. We just talked to the homeowner and he said he's done nothing to it. <laughs> He needs new lights after nine years, but he said that's the only thing yeah. he needs. Check this out. somebody's backyard a nice neighborhood but a standard type of a neighborhood yeah, yeah. you know most lawns are just grass and we came out here and built them this exquisite gosh this has got to be 30 feet long yep we're gonna have to four feet from the bottom up to the top we have a 2,000 gallon reservoir underneath this wow taking all the water off of the roof of the home yes gets routed in and we have a bubbling rock on the other side as an accent piece so we refer to these as pondless waterfalls which is actually our trademark because it's a waterfall without a pond and this one is basically, he'll never have to do anything to it because it's got the 2,000 gallon reservoir. Exactly. So talk a little bit about that, the decentralized solution that I cut you off here earlier. Yep. What does that actually mean? So decentralized solution is we are basically, we're capturing all the water on site instead of letting it go through the normal standardized uh, system of storm sewers. Yep. We're capturing it, we're infiltrating it, we're recirculating it. So now all that rainwater off of the roof gets into this big underground tank instead of ending up in the local retention ponds, which over flows into the local creek, which goes into the Illinois River, which, which goes, goes into, into the Mississippi, Mississippi River, etc. So, so we could stop it here. This is a great resource. Rainwater is awesome. The decentralized <laughs> solution, yep. and then they could use this to water their gardens. Exactly. So Ed, explain how these first flush filters that you created, yep. you know, actually work. So what this is, basically it's a pre-filter. Mm -hmm. So the key to all the good water quality down there starts up here at the top. So if we can keep all that gunk that, that comes off the roof, all that stuff that's gonna come down. Seeds, bird poop, whatever. Exactly, mm -hmm. if we could capture it and filter it out here, it's gonna make that way easier to maintain. Water call is gonna be better. So this is uh, the little lid on top. This is gonna keep the big debris out, keeps yep. the leaves and stuff. Yep. And then look at all this oh down gosh. inside of here. <laughs> So we did have a big rain just last we night, did. but look at all that gunk and just decomposing stuff and sludge and uh, you know all that gravel type stuff that's yeah. coming off of the shingles. Well, let's pull that out for so them. So we, we don't want we don't want that stuff yeah. to go down into yeah. the bottom where it's going to cause problems. So yeah, so that's what, this is why you made a what what micron is this? This is a 300 micron mesh. Yeah, 300 micron <laughs> mesh. Edge creates this stuff, I sell it. <laughs> it's doing a good job. Check out all that nasty stuff that uh, accumulated off the roof. This should be cleaned out just once a year. It's not that difficult to do. We dump that out and now we're just gonna hose this off and we're ready to go. So this is hilarious. I come up here to wash this off and he's got his rain barrel <laughs> that we put in too. Yep. And there you go, wash it out. Now recycling all that stuff, it's perfect. Yeah. You don't get a lot of pressure, but enough to do that. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to have it perfect. It just no. goes back in there. Nope. 
Flip it over and good. Yep, that's it. So Ed, so many people you know, on this channel ask how much things cost. Can you give me a little bit of a perspective? What it would cost to install this project 2018? 2018, this is gonna be about 32.5. Okay, so, about. <laughs> <laughs> approximately 32.5. And what do you come up with? How, so do you, how do you price that? We have a 2,000 gallon reservoir. Mm -hmm. So that reservoir alone is $20,000 just for that reservoir. To dig it out. So to dig it. it out, move the soil, connect all the downspouts, do the trenching, yep. all that stuff. We actually needed all that soil to build up for our berm, which yep. is actually a good thing. Yep. Then we have an additional 18 to 20 tons of stone here for the stream, waterfall, and retaining walls over on the back side. So what you don't see is 20 grand. What you do see is 12,500. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the infrastructure. Yeah. We have a booster pump in here so you get access to water. Mm -hmm. So all these different things add up, but it makes a huge impact. Yeah. Like Steve was telling us earlier, he's done nothing, nothing. to this for nine years. Yeah. And the water's pristine. There's not a single person for 32.5 in nine years. That's a good investment yep. to do nothing to it that's going to walk into this backyard and not say something. You tell me what else you can put in the yard that will generate that much buzz. So look at this. Of course, they've got a beautiful rainwater harvesting. They have their rain barrels yep. and then they still have a drilled core rock with a recirculating pump. People like water, yeah, right? It is. It's a nice little accent. This is right close to the window over here. They could put that up. They have Birds a completely different, completely different looking field. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I love this yeah. little spot. We are in his old neighborhood where we did the green community makeover nine years ago now. Nine years. And here, what a unique feature right in the very beginning. Hello! Well, hi, Pat! It's so hot oh, out there. Well, that sounds okay to me. So what made you get the water feature and what year was it? I can't even remember. We did our pond in 2003. I yeah. think this was 2006, 2007? In that area. Yeah. It sure was. I saw your pond and I just love the idea of the rain capturing system and yeah. doing something to help the environment. Yeah. And this was the precursor to the entire green community makeover yeah. where we came in and did a presentation over at the library. We did one here in my basement where we were trying to educate people on runoff and watersheds and all that stuff. And you were the first one, you jumped on it before we even did that as kind of that showpiece. And I think that's why so many people joined us in there. They enjoyed the idea, the concept. I mean, it's conversation. Every time someone came over here, or still to this day, yeah. it can be the utility man, the mailman, the neighbors, right. whatever. They say, oh, they stop before they walk in and they say, it's beautiful, I just <laughs> love it. And then you start talking to them about it captures the runoff and yep. everything and that there's a 500 gallon tank yep. underneath and that I use it to water all the plants that you see out here. This is still one of my favorite ones mm -hmm. and this is actually what I did over at my in-laws as well over at Ellen's parents. We did the same custom carved granite pieces which are beautiful. I'm still a, such a huge fan of those yep. and I love the way it kind of picks up. It works well with those aqua blue boulders yep. and then we have the Mexican river pebbles. Mm -hmm. So this combination is kind of has that dark look to it which works perfectly. You got the cypress, the arborvitae. And I can actually take a hose and connect it to my pump oh, over there. Oh, I see the, yeah. the booster pump back yep. over in there. But I so much more enjoy going over to it and actually getting the water can and yeah. taking it over to all the plants and yep. everything. The but they love, love the rainwater. It's a great source of water. It's soft water. It doesn't have the chemicals and stuff that our city water has. It doesn't have chlorine, which is not good for your plants or for the soil. So it is. It's a great source. And then right next to it, that's where we have that incoming source of water coming off of the roof that's acting as the pre-filter and then it's just that quick little connection coming in there. And then we have that 500 gallon tank underneath. Whenever it would rain uh -huh. prior to having all of this, everything had washed out. 
I mean, it'll wash out over here, uh, over here. It'll all go down the driveway. Right. I don't have that problem anymore. Nice. But I've got the birds. I've got butterflies this year. I can't believe the <laughs> amount of butterflies and bees. Oh my gosh. That we have this year, but we love it. The butterflies and bees and all those pollinators mm -hmm. are so important for all the crops and for the farmland and for the health of the biodiversity of the planet, but they need a healthy source of water. Absolutely. So by having that little bit of oxygen, by having that clean water, Super, super valuable. So you were part of the Green Community Makeover nine years yeah, ago. Absolutely. 2008, <laughs> wasn't 2009. it? 2009. Nine. Well, show us the water feature that you've lived with yeah. for nine years now. <laughs> I still can't believe you guys made this available when you did. All Ed's and it, idea. And it's such a great deal. <laughs> and most of the people around here thought it was a joke. <laughs> they didn't believe it would happen, huh? No, nobody <laughs> believed it was gonna happen. Until bam, it did happen. Yeah. yeah. So nine years, have you done a lot of work to it? You know, I have to clean it out once in a while mm -hmm. and uh, pressure wash it. Yeah. Probably every four to six weeks or so. I think I've had to replace a light yeah, nine yeah. years. Yeah, so not bad. What do people say they come back here for the first time? I and mean, we've just just been sitting here enjoying our time together. You yeah. know, I mean, has this been an enjoyable experience for you and your wife? Oh yeah, we both love it. Just sit out here, enjoy the sound, and enjoy the sight. You know, birds yeah. and the birds. We sit in the house, watch the birds. So, Ed, what would a project like this uh, run? This is twelve thousand five hundred. The way this is set up with the larger boulders and the five hundred gallon reservoir. Yep. So capturing the water off of the roof. So we have a larger reservoir than normal in here, but it was part of the stormwater management. And then over in here, we have about six tons of rock between the waterfall and then some of the retaining wall in the back. Right. The nice thing about that 500 gallon reservoir, it generates enough soil for us to create that berm, so yep. we didn't need to bring any extra soil in. But this is a really nice addition to any type of a property. It does stormwater management, it's good for nature, yep. creates the site, the sound, it's low maintenance. So it's got all these different attributes and a nice little package like this. Well, good job jumping on board Thank with you. the green community. <laughs> makeover. Yeah. You want to see guys like this live in the aquascape lifestyle? Like, comment, subscribe to this channel and follow along as we showcase how yeah. people live the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job. <laughs>